This is um, the last of Dubliners 2019, where we're going to compare and contrast James Joyce's short story, The Dead, with John Huston's film. And off the bat, what I like is that you get from the film is that stained glass when um, when they're coming up the stairs, that stained glass that Greta at the end is having like a, her epiphany uh, during the song. And uh, so we, we see that stained glass and don't really notice it until, oh, how she's framed so beautifully in there. And the second thing off the top of my head uh, that's different from the story is that Lady Gregory uh, translation of a poem by it's called Young da Donald. It's an 18th century poet, uh, Donald Og, O-G. And with the, the that poem that, uh, You've taken God from me, and that. And um, that's not in the story, but it goes along with, um, you know, lost love, um, how like men and women uh, suffer, especially when they're young, over lost love and that. And that's just... Uh, what well, really hits Greta in the end. I don't know if she was really in love with uh, Michael Ferry or if, if she's uh, just suffering pangs of, of guilt for, you know, he was singing out in the cold and he was uh, uh, frail. He was delicate, she says. Let's see. Um, the female character, Miss Ivers, she's the one that, like, gives Gabriel a wink. And you might think it's a little flirtation, but really it's because she's on to him for writing uh, reviews and stories in a, a paper, a, uh, a, how do you say, uh, a unionist-leaning paper. Um, for There's a lot of, when they say uh, Mr. Brown was of the other persuasion, they're saying he's a Protestant. Now, if you don't know, a Protestant is anything other than a Catholic. If you're Lutheran, Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, you're a Protestant. So we have that going on. And Miss Ivory, she's the one who uh, leaves the party early. Where is she going? She's going to a uh, committee meeting. She's going to a uh, Republican meeting, and that's uh, Sinn Féin. She, also, she says uh, uh, the phrase, ourselves alone. And that's literally what Sinn Féin means, ourselves alone. There's um, Lily, the caretaker, caretaker's daughter. She's not uh, keen on young men, is she? They're full of uh, palaver, and all they want is what they can get from you. Remember the short story, Two Gallants and Dubliners. So there's a lot of, um, you know, the women are starting to um, demand their rights and, and, and speaking out. Things like that. Now, the the character Freddie uh, Malins re really comes to life in the film, doesn't he? he uh, he's you can feel the tension every time I see the movie when he's going on and on about uh, Miss Julia's uh, voice and how it's the best he, he's ever heard her voice, and on and on, and you just go, "Oh my God, would he shut up? Just quit!" Uh, and uh, he has taken the pledge. I mean, he's sworn off drink. They literally would sign a piece of paper saying, I swear not to take, you know, drink forever, and they, along with a prayer, usually. Um, so the Catholics and Protestants, Mr. Brown of the other persuasion, he's a Protestant, which means he's also for uh, Northern Ireland. He wants, the, he wants the British rule to continue. And uh, Miss Ivers, whether she's leaving the party early because of that or not, or just be, it happens to be time for her to go. That's what it's all about. Uh, Northern Ireland, Ulster, Belfast, Seamus Haney is from Belfast. It writes about that area particularly. Let's see. Um, Parnell is mentioned. Even uh, someone's talking about, they're start, starting to get into politics, and it's uh, Miss Kate who settle, settles everyone down. Although she gets a little involved with, with God, about the God poem, how, uh, you know, they suffer for penance for God. Freddie Mallins is going to the monastery to do, like, his little penance for God. And Mr. Brown gets an attitude about it. It's like a free vacation for him. What do you mean? You don't have to pay for that? There's underlining to tones in, in there. Now, at the end, in the film, it comes off as uh, if... Uh, Gabriel, catch the names in here too, Gabriel, Arch, Archangel Gabriel, 
uh, they threw Mr. Grace in, the guy who uh, read the God poem. God is ta You've taken God from me, Mr. Grace. Uh, screenwriter was Tony um, Houston, John's son. And that was, let's see, so they used a Grace as the last name, another short story in Dublinders. But at the end, it, it comes off in the film as if Gabriel is like in a sexless marriage, or almost as if he's, you know, not even heterosexual. Whereas in the the story, he is very sexual, and he's a, uh, can't wait to make love to his wife. He, uh, but now after the kindling again, and so many memories, the first touch of her body, musical and strange, and perfume sent him, sent through him a keen pang of lust. He could have flung his arms around her hips and held her still in his arms, were trembling with desire to seize her, and only the stress of her, his nails against the palms of his hands held the wild impulse impulse of his body in check. He, uh, no, not now, no, it is not the moment yet. If she would only turn to him or come to him of her own accord, mm -hmm. to take her as she would, to take her as she was would be brutal. He longed to be master of her strange mood. So he is a uh, very uh, horny at the end of this. But I, this is before she talks about Michael Fury, of course, because then she's fast asleep, and he uh, the montage and the, the montage in the film of those uh, uh, tapestries and the quilts, and then uh, Aunt Julia. Uh, dead and you know with the uh, rosary in her hand and how she's going to be a shade soon and Gabriel's thinking I'll soon be at her uh, bedside or deathbed there's a lot of uh, Nora Joyce Joyce's wife and the character of Greta she was from Galway uh, for one but they had a very sexual marriage if you read any of their letters uh, that gives an example of uh, well, there's a lot about Molly Bloom in Nora Joyce as well. And the end is just classic. The very last sentence is full of uh, alliteration and uh, repetition and just uh, his soul swooned slowly as he heard the snow falling faintly through the universe and faintly falling like the descent of their last end upon all the living and the dead. So I hope um, everyone... Uh, enjoyed the film as much as I did, and I love the short story, and uh, I hope to uh, hear from you soon and to hear your uh, comments and watch your video. So until then, ta-ta.